Reality TV often showcases tales of love, romance, and drama, but few shows provide a raw and honest look into the extreme realities of life like Deadliest Catch. For nearly two decades, this intense series has gripped audiences worldwide, offering a vivid portrayal of the high-stakes world of commercial crab fishing in the Bering Sea. Behind the heart-stopping footage of towering waves and icy, wind-lashed decks lies a much deeper and tragic story. It is marked by profound loss, heartache, and the brutal realities of survival in one of the most dangerous environments on the planet. What leads to these devastating tragedies? How do these courageous captains and their fearless crews continue to brave such perilous conditions season after season? The Alaskan Sea is unforgiving, claiming lives and testing spirits. Despite the immense challenges, these fishermen push forward, driven by the promise of a better life. The competition for crabs is fierce, with hundreds of fishing vessels vying for the same bounty. While the series focuses on specific boats, the reality is that the waters are crowded with others all chasing the same livelihood. One of the most memorable captains is Jake Anderson, whose journey has been marked by struggle and tragedy. Jake's troubled past with substance abuse, including a period of homelessness, was just the beginning. During season 5, Jake learned of his sister's sudden passing, a heartbreaking moment that tested his resilience. A year later, his father went missing under mysterious circumstances, and his body was later found inside his truck, compounding Jake's grief. Despite these tragedies, Jake continues to face the dangers of the sea, showing immense courage and determination. Another fisherman whose past caught up with him was Joshua Warner. When Joshua joined the show, his criminal history as a bank robber was a secret. However, authorities linked him to bank theft from 2007 to 2009, leading to his arrest in 2010. His television career ended abruptly, and he was sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison. Among the most iconic figures of Deadliest Catch is Captain Sig Hansen. Born on April 28, 1966, in Seattle, Washington, Sig was destined to work on the waters as a fourth-generation fisherman. By the age of 24, he was already the captain of the Northwestern, following in the footsteps of his Norwegian immigrant father. Sig's rise to prominence fulfilled his father's dream of thriving in the competitive Alaskan fishing industry. Over the years, Sig has become not only a respected captain but also a mentor to younger skippers like Jake Anderson. His daughter, Mandy Hansen, has joined the business, continuing the Hansen legacy. Sig's life has been documented extensively on Deadliest Catch, capturing emotional moments like his heart attack, the loss of his dear friend Captain Phil Harris, and his daughter Mandy's proposal. Speaking of Captain Phil Harris, his stroke during season 6 was a shocking moment for fans. Despite the gravity of the situation, Phil insisted the cameras keep rolling, allowing viewers to witness his health struggles. Tragically, he passed away days later after another brain bleed, leaving a void in the hearts of his family, friends, and fans. The crew that films Deadliest Catch faces unique challenges. Unlike other reality shows, the camera crews endure the same treacherous conditions as the fishermen, spending up to five weeks on the boats. They capture over 30,000 hours of footage each season. This dedication often results in damaged equipment due to saltwater, wind, and accidents. While the show strives for authenticity, some scenes are refilmed or enhanced for dramatic effect. However, the dangers faced by the fishermen are real, and their financial struggles add to the challenges. Alaskan crew members often rely on state subsidies to balance production costs, while out-of-state crew members earn more. The introduction of the catch-share system in 2005 improved safety by allowing fishermen to wait for better weather conditions, reducing fatalities. Despite these changes, the show has seen significant departures, including the Hilston brothers, who left after a lawsuit, and Captain Elliot Knees, who struggled with addiction. Elliot's departure surprised fans until it was revealed that he was battling personal demons. After celebrating 90 days of sobriety in 2017, Elliot later faced legal trouble for drug trafficking in 2022, leading to a prison sentence. His story highlights the immense pressures faced by those in the industry. The tragedies of Deadliest Catch extend beyond the ocean. The shocking death of director Joseph McMahon outside his home and the losses of crew members like Captain Phil Harris and Nick McGlashan to drug overdoses have deeply affected the cast and fans. 
Despite these personal tragedies, the show portrays the difficulty of working in Alaska's harsh waters. Obtaining a fishing license in Alaska may seem straightforward, but survival on the water requires immense skill and experience. The expertise of the crew is a testament to their resilience. Captain Sig Hansen's health battles, including two heart attacks, have not deterred his commitment to the show. His dedication to his crew, family, and career is a powerful testament to his strength. Deadliest Catch remains a compelling portrayal of the resilience of those who brave the Alaskan waters. The emotional weight of the series is palpable as viewers witness not just the physical challenges but also the mental toll that this lifestyle takes on the fishermen. The camaraderie among the crew members is evident as they rely on each other for support in the face of adversity. Each season brings new challenges, and the stakes are always high. The unpredictable nature of the sea means that every trip could be their last, adding an element of suspense that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. Moreover, the show has sparked conversations about the fishing industry and its impact on the environment. Viewers are often left contemplating the balance between sustainability and the need for economic survival. The fishermen's stories are not just about catching crabs, they are about legacy, family, and the relentless pursuit of a better life against all odds. As the series continues to evolve, it remains a powerful reminder of the human spirit's resilience. The sacrifices made by these fishermen resonate deeply, and their stories inspire many. The legacy of Deadliest Catch is not just in the crabs they catch but in the lives they led and the stories they share. In conclusion, Deadliest Catch is more than just a reality show, it is a testament to the strength and determination of those who face the unforgiving Alaskan waters.